Hey guys, Kevin here from Limebold Video. Today we're going to get a better understanding of audio through the inverse square law. When recording audio, you almost always want the mic to be as close as possible to the subject without having distortion. The main thing that forces us to place our mic further away from our subject is to make sure that the microphone is out of frame. The inverse square law explains the relationship between sound intensity and distance. The law states that when you double the distance between the source and the microphone, there is a six decibel decrease in sound intensity. Okay, great. In a way, we already knew that placing the mic further away from our source will make them softer. Why is this law important, and how can we use this law as a tool when capturing audio? Let's use more of a film example by comparing two different shots. Like I said before, this law really comes down to the closer the mic, the louder the recording. Nothing groundbreaking here, but what it does give us is a way to measure a difference in sound intensity. This first example is a wide shot with the mic being placed right outside the frame, four feet away from our subject. We'll come back to that shot. This next shot is a close-up of our subject from the same scene. Since the frame is smaller in this shot, our boom operator is able to get the mic closer to the subject at one foot away. The close-up shot had the mic one foot away. To double the distance would be two feet, and to do it again would be four feet, just like our wide shot. With a change of six decibels for every time we doubled the distance, there is a net change of 12 decibels between the two shots. What I want you to take away from this is that different mic placements may need to have different gain levels on your audio recorder to achieve consistent volume and quality of audio. In the close-up shot, the recording will be louder, so you may need to turn down the audio recorder slightly. In the wide shot, the audio will be softer, so you may need to turn up the audio recorder. Be sure not to turn up your audio recorder too high. Adding a lot of gain could potentially lead to noise or a buzz in your recording. Thank you for learning with us today, and as always, be bold.